Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we'll assign, I mean, define earthquake load on our building. And in this video, I'll show you that how we'll assign wheel load on our building. So, in our previous video, I have used an Excel file. Similarly, in that video, I will also use an Excel file. And uh, if you are new in this series, you have to watch the previous video to understand about that. So, let's start. First of all, I'll open our Excel file. Here is our Excel file. So from here, just we have to select the value from that yellow box. Otherwise, every data are given here according to BNBC 2017 and also you can use that data for ASCE 705. For that, you just have to change only that value, basic wind speed. I mean, uh, according to my zone, the basic wind speed are that is. So, just you have to change that value. And otherwise, everything will be same as ASC705. And other every value you can use for that. So, first of all, we have to change the height of the building in meter. So, I'll go to our ETAPS and here our model and if you are new to this video you can watch our previous video to understand about that so first of all to find out that width has the height as we need the value in meters so we'll go here matrix unit you are seeing that all value have changed in meter here all will have changed in meter then we have to go here edit and here edit s3 and grid system after that we have to go here and here is our total elevation height from base to top air height our height is 31.69 9 you can directly put that value here I'm just going to copy that copy it copy that and go here paste it here as value so it's done then I have to change our location so our location is a important thing in our previous video I mean when we have used our another Excel file for find out our earthquake load there have, I have used Gopal Guns as this is my hometown of Bangladesh And here I have select that after that I have to go here occupancy category in our previous video we have used sorry uh, in our previous video for earthquake load analysis we have select that our occupancy category was 3 so I have select that from here of occupancy category are 3 and exposure type in our previous video we have also used our exposure type as A here our exposure type sorry uh, here we have, will select our exposure type A and from here a structure type I mean which types of a structure we are using they have many truss chimney stack a smaller structure they have many things ours but we are using building components so we have to click here uh, to 
select that value just here just you have to click here and from here you have to select your desired value so building and topographical factor kzt from our code bnbc 2017 or asce705 both the same you can find out that value and uh, it is quite difficult to find out that value that's why we can use one and our code suggests us to use one when our building category are not matched with them and uh, I have find out that and uh, it is very very similar to one so after that we have to select length of building along x direction and length of building along y direction so first of all close that close that and here and we'll go here edit a story and grid system and from here modify or show grid system so from here if we select display grid data as ordinate here you can select that but we'll select that value for find out our width according to x axis and y axis so here we are seeing that our x axis value is 11.9634 copy that for x axis and along x axis paste it here here and uh, the wall value you have to input here is meter again go here for y direction it's 12.5476 copy that paste it here length of building along y direction y direction so wind direction perpendicular to x from here we have to select x or y but when we will use what suppose wind are coming ok close that close that here here is the x axis and here is the y axis here is the x and here is the y so when wind are coming in according to x direction that we know that it's perpendicular to y and when, when wind are coming along y direction then it's perpendicular to x so we'll use that here so here first of all we'll input value for x direction y, x direction that's why we have to select y because wind direction perpendicular to y that's mean wind are coming from x direction and here we have found our every data that will input so that is our data that we have to input so first of all I'll go here for ETAPS and I will input our data according to ASCE 705 so in next video I'll show you that how we input our data for analysis or building so thank you thank you very much s12 stay connected till next video and if you think that this video was helpful for you press the like button so that i can understand exactly that was helpful for you and if you need that excel file just comment me below or mail me the mail are given in description so thank you thank you very much and you can share that video with a friend who need it. 
So, this is the ST connected till next video.